arts and culture news now. For the third time, West African art exhibition Transcending Boundaries is on right now here in London. And it's proof of the growing interest in West African artists. Now, one of the Nigerian artists who's showing there is Bumi Babatande, and he joins me in the studio. Thanks so much for coming in today. Yeah, I want, so much. We're going to get straight into the artwork because, of course, that's one of the big things we want to talk about. Okay. Um, and possibilities. Um, is one of the pieces that you have um, showing there. So tell us a little bit about that. Uh, possibilities. Um, I've done about five in the series. Yeah. And um, it started with um, exploring the possibilities of human achievement. Mm. If I saw, it's uh, an allegory to what man has been able to achieve. It, uh, that's gone through some torturous times. Not that easy, difficult, but became possible by people who have contributed in no small measure to um, humanity. So I kind of portray that to the vehicle of the human anatomy. Mm. Um, that, yes, we all carry the same body, but not everybody uses it the same way. Yes. For instance, some uh, gymnastic postures, yeah. very difficult for everybody, for a lot of people to do, but it's not impossible. So when you see people who are able to um, go, go through the exercise of uh, doing certain things that is not possible for the generality. It is uh, a plus for humanity that everybody can attempt it. I want to try and link this to one of the pieces you've got called um, Butter Dancer. Yeah. Now that's a really interesting piece because of course the, the butter music which is traditional to the, the Yoruba is about dancing to particular moves. I think we've actually got the artwork up there now. So tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about how that communicates with what you were saying. Yeah, but the, the, uh, I often want to uh, poetically portray the story of humanity, the content of humanity the activities that we engage in, our values, our pains, our problems, our power. And um, in all things, that's uh, better culture, uh, better dancing is uh, a dancing step of the Yoruba people, very energetic. And um, those who, the drumming is what the dancer does, portrays. And the way it does it, there are some steps that are meant for the elderly some for the younger ones. And when you see the younger ones dan dance it, it's very energetic, you know, almost acrobatic. And the energy that it exudes is quite very, very interesting. And of course, different uh, beat signatures on the drums represent different dance moves, which I think is... Different, different dance steps. Yeah, absolutely there's, phenomenal. There's some they call waro. Uh, uh, there's, there's about four or five of it. So this one now is the more or less the staccato form of dance that makes you to do all manners of um, uh, body gestures. Um, I, want, I want to talk about one of the jobs you had was at the, because uh, we're going from Nigeria now to Singapore, and it was the, 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 the Haggai Institute. You were yeah. a guest lecturer. No, Tell me, I was not a lecturer. No. I was a student. You were a student. I see, <laughs> see, I got ahead I of myself. 2004. <laughs> four, uh, what four. was the experience like? Obviously, because we, we were talking about Nigerian culture there, and then you're going to Singapore. What was that like for you? It was something very wonderful, eye-opening, because it, it's a, it was um, a, a program of about 34 countries from the uh, developing world. And uh, the mixture was a rainbow mixture, so to say, where we all had to uh, interact for the next one month, students from all over the world. And um, culturally, it was very, very, it was an eye-opening experience for me because we made friends, were able to interact and see the fusion between cultures mm. of the world. And um, from Nigeria, we had about um, 10 participants. And from, you know, Nigeria is a very big country of about 270 different tongues. And uh, back home, it could be different. But when we go out, we can see ourselves as brothers and sisters. sisters yeah. So it was a welding point for all mm. of us. Now, um, very quickly, I want to talk about another piece that I really liked, which is Paddler. And the thing I wanted to ask you about it was the fact that it, you, you use this ebony wood, which I see come up. Why do you like that material? Ebony wood is uh, area wood, very, very tough wood, which can withstand the test of time. 
as it does. And um, though it's not common any longer, it's going out of um, the circulation because of the paucity of it. But I love that because of also the color. You know, some of the, it's so strong. Uh, it portrays the strength of whatever you, are, you have to uh, use, uh, to do, to portray in the sculpture. Bumi, thank you very much for coming on the program. Mm. Everyone needs to get down to Transcending Boundaries and check out some of your work. It's an mm. absolute pleasure having you.